head. How many of these did I take? God, what a headache. I feel like a small jackhammer in my left temple. Just tossed on the floor. My mother would be proud. I feel more human. Now, where did I put my shirt? I was at least hoping I'd look better than I feel. Samuel, 
focus. Don't focus on anything other than the fear. You're doing good. Really good. You're almost there. Focus. Choose. Act. Deliberately. I know what you're thinking. Stop thinking that. Pills and alcohol? You're lucky enough you didn't wake up dead. I need to know what happened last night. The last place I remember is the bar, so I'll start there. A squeaky nail gets hammered down. Maybe don't play lone wolf detective. I'm gonna take it slow and be cautious, don't worry. Yeah, telling people not to worry always works. I can't just run from whatever this is. So either help me or get out of my head. It's your life, Sam. I just live here. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Do you really think breaking and entering is a good idea? Used Ethan's hidden spare key, no breaking involved. I don't know if he'll see it that way. I could wait for the bar to open, or I could look for answers. I picked the latter. Whoa. What happened here last night? First. I ended up drinking alone. So who brought that second glass? do this? Sorry, Nick. These were sent scattering. 
Someone thrown into them? Ripped. Did this happen yesterday, or was it always like that? It might have fallen off the table. Seems some people got rowdy last night. Knock this clock off the pillar. It seems there was a fight. It could explain the blood on my shirt. Does it mean that I was involved? I won't be able to find out without more evidence. Definitely not the wake Nick would have wished for. What a mess. Hope this wasn't me. Hugh's business card. Wonder why it's here. The flowers are ruined. Looks like they were knocked over, then stepped on. DG. Dennis's initials. Was he involved in whatever happened? Wouldn't surprise me. Joel's hat. Maybe we ended up having it out after all. I think I've seen enough to put together the pieces of what happened last night. Just gotta think it through. At least I can always count on this place to make sense. Now to work out what happened while I was blacked out last night. I just need to think it through logically, throw out impossibilities. Until only the truth is left. I know I got into a fight, but it could have played out in many different ways. I have to think it through, what really happened. My memory ends here, but there's two glasses. Who was here with me? I was drinking on my own when someone approached me. I can't remember who it was, but I know we got into a fight. Obviously. If I figure out how the fight went, I should figure out who my assailant was. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. it. Looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. That could be it, but I still have to figure out who was sitting next to me. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. I have the complete picture now. You know, 
The man who talks to himself has an idiot for an Fuck audience. Fuck off, Dennis. <laughs> I see why you have so many friends left in town. Yeah, you would know about that. At least my best friend never slept with my ex. And who do you blame more, huh? The backstabbing asshole or the bitch? <laughs> about Anna or Nick that way. You think you know who Nick was, Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. What are you talking about? I'll show you. But not here. Sam. Get me later at Sam. the Ethan is coming back in through the front. At least I think it's him. You think it's him? I can't actually tell if you can't tell. What I know for sure is if it's Ethan, he may not be happy to find you here. So I strongly suggest you leave. And if you don't, well, tell him you're here to apologize about last night. You trap. I don't have time to lose explaining myself to Ethan. I come back on the town's Miner's Day celebration. Well, you always did have great timing. No time to dwell on that. Focus. You tried Dennis' cell phone. No answer. So what now? There's that coffee date with Anna. Anna might have to wait. I want to see if anyone has seen Dennis first. I don't know. I'll play it by ear. Just remember she's expecting you. She's extending the olive branch. Don't drop it. I still have time before meeting Anna. Might as well ask if anyone saw Dennis. Maybe Kathy will know something. Or that new pharmacist. The perfect toy for a kid who only had imaginary friends. Yo, get out the way. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. Asshole. That's enough. <laughs> Kathy and Hugh were both at the wake. I should talk to them.
Bug made that for Mother's Day years ago, and Kathy still keeps it with her. Still here after all these years. She followed Nick to Basswood, but never liked it. Ah, oh, Samuel. Sorry about Richard. He's always a little on edge. I'm surprised to see you up and about after the night you had. Honestly. <laughs> I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. You were quite inebriated. Yeah, and I have quite the hangover to show for it. Not my finest hour. I would say not, after your barroom brawl. I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside, and I tried to get you to hand over your keys, but you would have none of it. Sorry about that. The man I had a fight with, Dennis. Have you seen him today? Seen him? No. No, can't say I have. Thanks anyways. That article you wrote, it's done this town a lot of good. How do you figure? The mine was a band-aid on a torn artery. Sometimes, doing what is unpopular is still the moral choice. You probably believe that. I'd offer you something for that hangover, but I find in some cases, time is the best medicine. A pill pusher who doesn't want to push pills. That's a new one. Everything is poison. All that matters is the dose. Now you have a good one, young man. Was there anything else you needed, by the way? I'll stop bothering you. I need to get going anyways. No, not bother at all. It's always a pleasure. Do come see me again. Sam, you here to pick up something for your, uh, condition? I have a condition? Yeah, the one that makes you the way you're always so... you. It's all right, of course. I won't tell anyone. I think I might actually have leaky gut. It's where your intestine starts to dissolve, and your half-digested food starts to leak out and... Why not ask the pharmacist? And let him know I might have something like that? <laughs> you. He's basically a stranger. Look. Have you seen Dennis? I saw him yesterday. We exchanged pleasantries. At the wake? Oh, I saw you too. Given his condition yesterday, he might have come in here. You walloped him. Why not ask the pharmacist? I'll just check the internet when I get home. It'll tell me what to get. It was nice talking to you, Tara. Mm. Was it? Not uncommon for miners to end up in those once they get black lungs. Hey, Kathy. Yo, oh, Sam. What can I do you for? Dennis hasn't come in today, has he? Dennis? I haven't seen him since last night. Why? You looking for trouble? Last night we got into a fight. Like a fist fight. Really? I'm oh, sorry, I missed that. You could both use the thumping. But I left early to go check on Joan. 
Did you have to say that fantasy about her father being murdered was real? That's not what I... I just want her to be a little girl, not a little Sam Higgs, sneaking around and getting into trouble. And now all she can talk about is how you're going to prove that she's right. Sorry. I know it's not your fault, but I just don't... I don't... I don't know what to do with her. She's my daughter, and I feel like I'm losing her. I gotta go. The boss sees me John instead of working. I'll get an earful. No one in here was much help. Stop bothering you. I need to get going anyways. No, that bother at all. It's always a pleasure. Do come see me again. Now, I can't just have you hanging around here all day like the ghost. It's a free country. Hey, don't give me that. People have been complaining, so don't let me see you here again. You fascist. What you just... I'm just doing my job. It's nothing personal. Looks like you're not the only one who started off on the wrong foot today. Sorry you had to see that. Some people you just can't reason with. Speaking of, you're still in town. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why are you looking for him? I wanted to apologize for last night. Huh. I'll just stay out of his way for a day or two. I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. I'm not judging. His head's full of smoke. It takes a while to clear it out. I don't want to keep you, officer. Have a good day. Keep your nose clean. No luck so far, but I should keep digging around. Someone must have seen Dennis. I remember seeing you in town before. Passing by? I was born in Basswood. I was raised in Basswood, though I left for a few years. Wait, you managed to leave and still came back? You'd never see me again if I left. 
Why don't you then? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna take my millions of dollars and make a run for it. I can barely get by, like everyone else here. Too poor to stay, too poor to leave. <laughs> no luck so far, but I should keep digging around. Someone must have seen Dennis. Remember when this whole celebration used to be twice as big? Back when this town wasn't just a dead horse we all keep kicking. Could you help an old doddering woman? You know, if you carry fewer things, you tend to not drop as much. You haven't changed a smidge, have you? Okay, Muley, for two points. What is the name of the pink pony on the animated cartoon show, Prancers? The super cool one I was telling you about the other day? You know, my favorite? Uh, Polly. Polly Pony? No, that's her sister. She's totally different. Then what is her name? I'm not telling. What if the card comes up again? You really like to win, huh, Buck? All right, coffee for you and hot chocolate for the young... Is that a comic about monsters? It's about Tardigrade Man. He can survive almost anything. His only weakness is his own emotions. He's based on the microscopic Tardigrades. It has eight legs and can survive star radiation. Huh. Well, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing a young woman should be reading. She says she's going to be an entomologist. What can you do? to be an entomologist. I'm going to study every bug, especially the crawlies. But tardigrade isn't a bug. It's a micro-animal. Well, good for you. Sounds like just what a young woman like you should be reading. So, uh, can we play this again tomorrow, maybe? We can play as often as you want. You promise? Yeah, I promise. Pinky swear? If you break those, you go to hell. I don't think you're supposed to be using that language. You can't break this, no matter what. You're real intense for a kid, you know that? Say it! I won't break the pinky swear, no matter what. Thank you so much. You're always such a dear. Say, Christina, have you... Oh, Sam, it's been years. It really is so nice to see you again. Yeah. Likewise, but... I wanted to come to the funeral yesterday, but just thinking about it, oh dear. Now, I know you want to interrupt her, because I want to interrupt her. So eyes on me, buddy. Happy thoughts, deep breaths. Yeah, well, uh, speaking of the... Poor Joan, losing her father at such a young age. Oh, what a tragedy. I was trying to find one of those games she likes so much to cheer her up. Poor child only has Kathy now, and... Well, far from me to criticize or anything, but these last few months, Kathy hasn't been all there, if you know what I mean. Hopefully this tragedy will be a wake-up call for her to be more present. She should take a few weeks off to be with Joan. 
I know you would never refuse. Don't you agree? Yeah, of course. I'm sure if poor Kathy would only ask him for the time. Ah, but look at me. I talk and talk and talk, but you had something to say, didn't you? Have you seen Dennis today? Dennis? No, it's odd, actually. He usually stops in here Sunday mornings. Like how you and Nick used to come over from the paper with Anna every Friday. You three always seem so happy. Oh, but you, Sam, how have you been doing? I don't have time for a lot of small talk. Uh, all right. You look well, at least. I've been better. I'm hungover this morning. You know what's good for that? Coffee. I know, Christina. Not right now. I gotta go. Hey, man. Thought I knew everyone, but I don't know you. I used to be a regular a few years ago. Oh, right. You're one of those who skipped town when the mine closed down. You could say that, yes. Town ain't changed much since then. Same old boring basswood. I know most people hate that, but I don't. It's quiet here. It's nice. So quiet, there's no rush hour, I guess. Right? Yo. Sam? You old bridge jumper, how you been? What's the calendar say? Two years, Joe. It's been two years. Too long. Heard you showed up yesterday. Boys give you trouble? Maybe a little, but don't worry. It's hard for me to blame them. After the mine closed, well, it ain't easy to put food on the table. Don't let that weigh on you. No one else has lost their legs recently. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? I wish. Just about the only guy I could talk hockey with. Not football? I want to talk football. I can just grab anybody on the street. Dennis actually enjoys a man sport. But no, I haven't seen him. I have places I need to be, but it's good to see you. Just promise you won't wait two years before saying boo again. <laughs> I'll do my best. Joe has no idea where Dennis went. Someone must have seen him after the fight.
No luck so far, but I should keep digging around. Someone must have seen Dennis. It's not worth it. No one works on a Sunday. Well, no one except me. It's not worth it. No one works on a Sunday. Well, no one except me. At least the basswood jungle is still standing. I don't imagine Walter had obituaries in mind when he became editor-in-chief. Hey, Bug. What are you doing out here? Hey, Millie. <laughs> Waiting for my mom to get off her shift at the pharmacy. Drawing. I got a new journal after I left the old one somewhere. <laughs> See? Did you get home okay last night? Yeah. I bike everywhere. It's not like anything scary bad happens in Basswood. At least not normally. Um. Any word on my dad? Did you really look into it? I haven't found anything yet. I don't think. Let me know if you find anything. Please. I feel like I need something. It's just this town, you know? This place. It feels like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe. I can't think. I can't stand my mom. I don't like school, well, except for science. And just, when I'm at- Have you seen Dennis today? What? No, I haven't. Were you even listening to me? I shouldn't be surprised. No one listens to me. I was listening. I just need to find Dennis. If you hear anything about what happened to my dad, let me know. Otherwise, just leave me alone. 